lot of people came from a pretty rough past or they did things in the past. And some of those things were actually really, really, really nasty. One such person is a man by the name of Fudayl ibn Ayyad radiallahu ta'ala anhu rahimahullah. His nickname, just to give you an idea, is Imam al harami the Imam of the two Haram. So this is a man that is found in basically every book of Tazkiyah, every book of spirituality, that would eventually live this great life of asceticism and zuhud and so on and so forth. But little do we know, subhanAllah, what this man used to be like, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He was actually a highway robber, qati' tariq, between Syria and Khurasan. And he'd constantly attack these people, these caravans as they were going through. He'd steal from them. He would be violent with them. And he was notorious for what he did. And to make it even worse, Fulay says that he used to commit zina all the time. So he would actually commit adultery with some of the women of these caravans that he was robbing. And he said, there was a particular woman that I used to go behind this particular wad, this particular valley, and I'd meet her on a nightly basis and I'd commit zina with her. So subhanAllah, you know, think about a man that's going every night and just soiling himself in sin and then has a haram job during the day. Fulayd has the most haram job during the day, which is he's a highway robber and he has the worst night possible by committing zina on a nightly basis. He says, until one night that I was on my way to commit zina and as I was on my way, I heard a man in one narration, it's a family member of that woman and he was reciting this ayah from Surah Al-Hadid. أَلَمْ يَأْنِي لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَطَالَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَمَدُ فَقَصَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَكَثِيرٌ مِنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ This is the 16th verse of Surah Al-Hadid, which is actually associated with the tawbah, with the repentance of many people in the past, where Allah says, has the time not come for those who have believed that their hearts should become humble to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that their hearts should humble themselves and submit themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that which has come down of the truth and do not be like those who were given the scripture before you and a long period passed and so their hearts hardened once again and many of them are defiantly disobedient. So Fulay radiallahu anhu he hears this ayah and he says, Bala ya Rabbi qad an. He says, yes, O oh my Lord, now is the time. So Fulay said that I left, I didn't commit zina with that woman. And as I was walking, he said, I saw a group of people and they were talking amongst themselves. And this caravan was deciding whether to go or whether to stay put. So one group of people said, Narhal, let's go. Another group of people said, let's wait. Why did they say let's wait? They said, فَإِنَّ فُلَيْلَ عَلَى الطَّرِيقِ They said, because Fulay is on this path, يَقْطَعُ عَلَيْنَا And Fulay is going to attack us. Let's wait. Let's not go right now because we don't want to come into contact with Fulayl. So Fulayl is listening to these people talk about how much they fear him. A group of Muslims, a group of believers, a group of Hujjaj perhaps. And they don't want to meet Fulayl and they're afraid of Fulayl. And that's basically the main thing they're taking into consideration with whether or not they should stay or go. So Fulayl says, فَجَعَلْتُ أَبْكِي I started to cry and I held my beard and I said, as I was holding my beard, أَنَا بِاللَّيْلِ فِي الْمَعَاصِي وَقَوْهٌ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ هَا هُنَا يَخَافُونِ He said that, you know, during the night, I spend my nights soiling myself in the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have Muslims that fear me during the day. وَمَا أَرَى اللَّهَ سَاخَنِي إِلَيْهِمْ إِلَّا لِأَرْتَدَعَ I don't see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed me to hear that conversation, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted me to come back. Allah wanted me to return to him. And he says, Allahumma inni qad tubtu ilayk wa ja'altu tawbati mujawarat al-bayt al-haram. He said, Oh Allah, I have repented to you and I've made my tawbah to live in the company of al-Masjid al-Haram. So he moved to Mecca and he's going to stay in the companionship of the scholars of Mecca. And he stays in, in the presence of the Kaaba until he eventually becomes the Mufti of Mecca, subhanAllah, and becomes Imam al-Haramain. And Fulayr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, before he did that, he actually spent some time trying to visit each and every single one of his victims. Everyone that he could remember that he'd stolen from, he goes to them and he gives them back their goods and he begs them for forgiveness and then he moves to the Bayt al-Haram and the rest is history. SubhanAllah, all from this one ayah, isn't it time? Isn't it time? Isn't it time? Allah is constantly asking each and every single one of us, isn't it time for your heart to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to not allow your heart to harden once again? Isn't it time to make a permanent change in your life and come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We won't all become scholars like Fulay radiallahu anhu, 
but at least we could become decent believers that are within the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that found that find themselves in his uh, in the favorable company of the believers and the siddiqun and the shuhada and the anbiya on the day of judgment so we ask Allah to forgive us and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to not make us a heedless people and to allow us to respond to that call and to allow us to die upon that call